actually it's noon already. I am about, I was literally about to leave the house to go to the um, farmer's market and then to Whole Foods. And I thought I would take you along with me and then I can do a grocery haul because I love watching grocery hauls and hopefully I get some good stuff. We recently watched a documentary called Food Inc. And we're serious now about buying as best quality food as we can, particularly just knowing how things are in America versus Europe and the regulations around food. Um, and I just did my makeup. Pretty happy with it. And yeah. Ready to go. Let's do this. That was a lot, that was a lot of groceries. I checked my steps and it wasn't even that long, but I'm exhausted and I should have taken a mover. But I did it and I'm sweating and I'm gonna change out of this top before I get it dirty and then I will unbox the stuff. It's so much, I'm not sure where to put it. But yeah, I made it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, this should work. So I went to two places. I went to the McCarran Park Green Market, which is part of the broader Green Market Network across New York. There's one in McGorick Park on Sundays, today's Saturday, and uh, Union Square on Saturdays as well. And I think also Prospect Park, Park Slope area. But um, actually, yeah, I'll start by un unboxing all that stuff. <laughs> I got a lot. Okay. I got a gluten-free sourdough, everything flavor. This is, this looks really popular. Ooh. And I actually haven't seen what it looks like. But it's beautiful. It's covered in everything seasoning. And it's gonna get everywhere. Unless I put it back immediately. So that was that. That's more of a treat for me. I'm. I'm, I prefer to eat gluten free. Stephen prefers to eat gluten. So this is for me. But often when I buy um, gluten free stuff, Stephen really likes it. But I think he just isn't, isn't on board that gluten free wave yet. But we're working on it. some peppers. Huge. Back. Okay. Another pepper. These are called frying peppers. They look and smell really good. Okay. I got some tomatoes. These are huge. And such gorgeous colors. Right? Okay. The only thing with stuff from farmer's markets is that I find that obviously they're not loaded with preservatives and therefore they don't keep. And then I got a bunch of uh, peaches. I know Stephen loves peaches, and peaches aren't my favorite, but actually oranges are my favorite, but I didn't actually get any oranges. I then got some apples, just two, and these are just honey crisps. They were pretty expensive, honestly. I was surprised. I can't remember how much any of this was. They have the 
obligatory leaf so you know it's real. Uh, I don't want anything to squish. Luckily everything made it home okay. I got uh, some cherry tomatoes for the salad. For the other tomatoes, I think I actually might roast them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the best way. A big, they said this is a cucumber, but to me it looks like a courgette, which was also known as a zucchini in this country. Uh, and then some curly kale. Or just regular kale, which is curly. And then, oh, I actually also got some cilantro, which I love. And it was so cute, it even has a little flower on it. I don't know if you can see that. It smells amazing. The smell here is just amazing. Oh, and then finally, I got some, I don't know if you can see this but it's uh, apple butter. It tastes so good, it tastes exactly like autumn. That tastes like autumn in a jar. There's cinnamon in that as well, that tastes so good. So this is <clears throat> everything I got from the farmer's market. Lots of reds and greens, which I like. Okay, next, good old Whole Foods. Expensive, but arguably worth it. Especially if you bring your own bag, you get a discount. And if you um, use your Amazon Prime code, you also get a discount. So I got these mangoes, which are expensive, but I love. Uh, it's like a treat for me because I deserved it. And those were 5.69. Um, and then I got this bread, which we've never had before, but I, I always see it on the list of like healthiest options for bread. Good seed, heavenly texture and saintly flavor. Good seed is the boldest and sweetest of our breads. Oh, I hope it isn't actually sweet because that's not what I want. It does have a lot of um, ingredients, which I don't love, but it also says no high fro fructose corn syrup, no preservatives, no ingredients, no artificial preservatives preservatives, no artificial ingredients. Always power packed with whole grains, USDA organic, always non-GMO, always made with killer taste and texture. So we'll try that. That's like Stephen's, gonna be Stephen's bread. I got four organic lemons. It said grown in Mexico, so must be good, right? Must be. I got uh, one, two, three, five organic uh, bananas. We go through bananas really quickly. So this is essential for smoothies and just on the go. I got this bag of, it's called Ugly Greens by Gotham Greens. Um, pesticide free lettuce, long lasting freshness, grown in a clean greenhouse, so it's locally grown. Um, and con contains mixed greens, butterhead, red oak leaf and more and i think i can see spinach in there but it's basically just um a bag of greens which i think are like loose ends of greens they're not it's not completely uniform it says um join the food the fight against food waste so i thought that was cool and it was only 2.99 so i was like perfect baking powder so Autumn means baking season and I'm all about it. So I had to stock up on that. Oven roasted turkey breast for Steven. He likes to make sandwiches. Um, wow, I really hope these aren't uh, molded. I can't tell. But these are mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. I can't tell, one of them looks not like it's doing not so great, but that might just be the mushroom vibe. TBD. I'll be really sad because those were not cheap. Those were $4.99. Red pepper stuffed olives. I love olives, I could eat them by themselves and I put them in everything and anything, literally. Organic kimchi. I saw some kimchi at the market, but I was like, you know what? 
this is fermented i'd rather get this from a place that i can like hold accountable if, if it makes me sick or anything um organic and northeast grown which is where we are avocados a staple in everyone's diet and this huge pack of feta cheese because we always buy the crumbled and we always buy the small blocks and i'm like why don't we just buy a big block and, and keep it and that's everything that is everything i got from whole foods a lot of goodness pretty happy with it so we already had like um we already had Pasta, beans, dried goods, cereals, oats, all of that from Sam's Club, uh, which we have Sam's Club membership. But we're going to finish all of that and try and shop more at um, Whole Foods. Or maybe just go to Sam's Club for things like pantry staples and then go to Whole Foods for more of the fresher stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's my haul and I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I love watching people buy things and open them. I think it's so cool. I'm super nosy. Um, I also find grocery shopping really hard, especially when it's just maybe two people because things go bad and you have to freeze. And so I'll let you know how this all goes, but um, I enjoyed recording it. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.